I don't have the money. Medicare is not wanting to pay anymore. It's just, it's getting harder and harder. And I'd rather just quit. Hi, Susan. Susan Moore needs dialysis three times a week. Medicare and Medicaid cover the treatment, but not the cost of getting her there. She's a $10 a trip, I think. And of course, you go three days a week, that's $30 a week. We don't have buses. We don't have a rail system. We don't have transportation system for patients, so they're on their own. Medical bills, household bills, Susan says it's too much. I don't have the money. If I paid everybody $5 a month, that would take up my whole paycheck, so I can't do it. I know you told me you, you was thinking about not doing dialysis anymore. Yep. And what would that? What, what would happen if you did that? I die, which is okay. <laughs> so, it's okay. It's all right. I'm sure you talked to your doctor about quit dialysis and what that means. Yep, it means I'm dying, and that's okay with me. You'd rather die than deal with the yep. situation. Yep. I'd rather die. It does anger me because Washington looks at it as a political issue. It's politics. It's personal here. It's someone's life here. It's people dying here. Life and death decisions on hold in Washington, while for some, there may not be much time left. Tracy Potts, NBC News, Whitesburg, Kentucky.